Okay, so what we have here is a load cell, which measures the tension in this bolt. This is a three-quarter inch national coarse bolt. Actually, it's an all-thread. <clears throat> I just have steel washers here, so we're going to have a lot of friction between the nut and the washers. This is three-quarters national coarse, which is ten threads per inch. And what we're going to try to do is get a tension of about two or three thousand pounds here. So I'll snug this up a little bit, get us started. I have here a force gauge, which I didn't bump it there. Yeah. Records the maximum force. So this will also record the maximum force in the bolt. So if I put my wrench on here, I hook up my force meter, I pull this. about a 3,000 pound tension. I have here 70.25 pounds. That's a lot. 70 pounds. Let's try that again. Holy cats. Things pretty tight. Okay, here's our maximum peak was 3,000 pounds. I can clear that. I can clear my force gauge. We can snug this up to something like that. We can hook this up. That time I got 58.1 pounds to tighten that up. Here's our maximum force, which is three kips. So 3,000 pounds for an applied force of 58.1 pounds. And the length, the length of my moment arm here is about uh, ten and a half inches, ten and a half inches or so. So we're going to try that again, but we're going to we're going to put a thrust bearing between the nut and the washers. Okay, so this is just a thrust bearing, so the two faces rotate freely. And I'm going to put this on top of the washer. And what that does is pretty much eliminates friction between the nut and the washer. And this <clears throat> we can use to estimate how much friction there is between the nut and the washer. So I'm guessing this is going to take about half the force. So we're going to uh, reset our maximum. And we're going to snug this up a little bit here. Got about two kips on it. Clear my force gauge. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that was only 25.7 pounds. <clears throat> Roughly half of what it took before. 
Our maximum force here was 3.1 kips. Ball screws have very low frictional resistance because instead of actually having direct contact friction, they work through a system of ball bearings. <clears throat> the friction in this is supposed to be about 0.15. Um, since the pitch of the threads is 0.2, what happens is the uh, friction of the threads is not enough to counteract gravity. So the, the nut travels freely. Uh, sometimes it'll run on the uh, screw as well. The screw's not quite as heavy, so it has a little trouble overcoming stiction. But pretty, pretty slick stuff. Okay, so I have the ball nut mounted here. Underneath is the uh, thrust bearing. <clears throat> and I built a, a little spanner wrench here that goes between uh, the holes in the ball nut, like so. And what we're going to do is the same thing we did before. Should take a lot less force though. So, ball nuts don't stay in place, so as soon as I quit pulling on it, it'll back off of its own accord. So, I'm going to hook the string on here and pull until we get about 3,000 pounds. And let it go. <clears throat> that time we got 15.2 pounds. 15.2 and our maximum force was 3,000 pounds tension. Ball screws of course are pretty a little, a little sensitive so <clears throat> the ball bearing race, the threads have to stay clean uh, to work efficiently. Uh, they can be greased here with a zerk usually with a really light grease, almost an oil. But the other problem that happens is if you screw the nut off of the threads, all the ball bearings fall out. So you have to be careful here. I have a stop so I don't accidentally unscrew this too far. Okay. Okay, so this is an acne thread test. The friction here is going to be a lot less than it was with the washer in the first test because the friction has to do with this contact point uh, here in the foot. Um, if you had a washer and we're rotating the frame to tighten this up, uh, the friction due to the washer would be pretty close to what we got with the uh, washer test. So here we go. We're going to snug this up a little bit. The clamp is pretty flexible, so it takes some twisting to get here. I'm going to go about 1.5 1 here, something like that. So take my force gauge. Fifteen hundred pounds. I got twenty five pounds here. <clears throat> Acme threads are a little bit better than standard uh, SAE threads, but not that much really. Peak force one point five kips. Peak force, 25.0. Okay, here is an effort to explain what we just witnessed with the test. Um, <clears throat> this equation on the left is 
measures the performance of a threaded assembly if it's perfectly frictionless. This is an ideal case. <coughs> we have F, which is the, in our case, the tension in the bolt. We have T, which is the applied torque. And over here we have 2 pi over L. 2 pi, of course, is one full revolution. And L is a distance that the nut travels uh, in one revolution. So this is just a, a rate. L, of course, is the inverse of the pitch, so we usually specify threads in pitch, and L is just the inverse of that, so we could actually use pitch in this equation. Over here on the right is a diagram that shows a standard threaded assembly, and <clears throat> what this is a, is a demonstration of what the losses are. The effort, or the work, uh, that goes into applying torque to the bolt, half of that is lost in friction between the moving surface, in this case the bolt head, and the flat washer. So half of all the work you put into tightening a bolt is lost right there in friction. 40% of it is lost in friction down here in the threads. Um, I'm not sure this is entirely true, but I think this is just an example of what can be the case. <clears throat> so if we can eliminate this underhead friction by putting in a thrust washer, and if we can eliminate the thread friction by using a ball thread, we should be able to get close to 100%. Of course, there's losses in everything. So we ran these four tests to see what we might get. The base test was three quarters inch national course. Um, what we found out is that we have 8% efficiency. Um, a little worse than the case in the picture over here. We took out uh, the flat washer and put a thrust washer in trying to eliminate this 50% tension. We actually doubled the efficiency. It worked twice as well. But um, we still only ended up with 18%. So <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly where our losses were, but that 18% has to be mostly in the thread friction. Perhaps I have pretty dirty threads. I could have cleaned the threads. Next we have the um, ball thread, which should be very close to frictionless. We have both the ball thread and the thrust washer. We got basically 80% efficiency, which is pretty good, I think. Um, some losses in the thrust bearing. I think, I think the ball thread is about 85% efficient, and we probably lost uh, another 5% or so in the thrust bearing. And here's the Acme thread. <coughs> it, in this case, actually didn't uh, perform as well as a national course thread with the thrust washer. But it did perform basically twice as, as well um, as the usual assembly with just the flat washer. <coughs> now, since we're kind of comparing apples and oranges here because the pitch of the thread systems varies for the different tests. I thought it'd be interesting to look at the ratio of the applied force to the wrench to the tension that was achieved in the bolt. So this is like an amplification factor. Um, our standard three-quarter inch thread was a 52 factor, so if you put uh, 10 pounds on the wrench, you would have got presumably 520 pounds uh, tension in the bolt. National course, we got 121 times, and the ball thread was 197 times. But what's interesting here, in part, is the comparison between the Acme thread and the standard flat washer thread. 
pretty close. Actually, this, this is a lower factor because the thread pitch is coarser, which it tends to be the case with Acme threads. Um, also, I think a real world application, you might get a lower number here because remember we had, we were using uh, the C clamp foot, which is a little ball joint, and the friction losses in that are probably less than they would be with a flat washer. So I, I, I don't think the Acme thread is uh, very effective. Um, we actually, if you, if you look, um, this had only a 10.5 moment arm. This had a 10.75 moment arm, so it had a slightly longer moment arm. But the force amplification was less. The, the, the efficiency of the system was twice, but the force amplification was actually less because the thread pitch is significantly different. 